our society has changed so much. At one time there was much hatred against the Muslims, mostly against the Christians because we were ruled by the British and uh, the missionary activities because we had converted so many people. So there was a lot of hatred. That hatred still persists, but they are very few. Our society has changed because the new generation has shed that old hatred. It's the old generation which is still nurses some hatred against the Muslims and uh, against the Christians. But the new generation is now thinking in terms of economic opportunities, of advancement in all fields. They don't go back to the past. Mm -hmm. They have moved away, which is a very healthy sign. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that after a few generations, there will be complete change and complete unity. There will be no problem for the Muslims or for the Christians in India. But also there is that problem of fundamentalism. Yeah. Now in Pakistan, you leave, uh, fundamentalism is growing, which is very bad, but that is linked to political uh, motive than anything else. It's just irrational thinking, capturing power. Capturing power has always been, you know, uh, in the famous book, uh, The Prince. Mm -hmm. Machiavelli. Yeah, Machiavelli. He said, as soon as you come to power, kill 10,000 people immediately, so that people are horrified and they will not rise against you. So politics is a very dirty game. And it is those who are deep in politics that they are doing this kind of mischief. And we have to deal with them. I had predicted that as we get better educated, we will have a better outlook on the world. This is not happening. It is mostly the educated class if you go to the villages, you will find the simple people, they are very sincere. They don't have any ill will or hatred. But it is the elite, it is the educated class that is creating mischief. Mm. Very sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm not quite hopeful, frankly, about, uh, about what is happening now.